Us. We are continuing our series where we shine a spotlight on local entrepreneurs. That's right. Today we are chatting with Melissa Randazzo of True Warrior Jewelry. Her designs are a labor of love and she hand makes mm. each piece. There she is using real crystals and gemstones. Melissa started her business during her own fertility journey and wanted to make something to inspire and empower other women to unleash their inner warrior. I love this. Fantastic. And she's joining us live now on the couch. Melissa, welcome. Hi. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for having me. It's it is so lovely to meet it you. It is a pleasure to meet you. you. First and foremost, where do you stand on pumpkin spice latte? I am pro pumpkin spice okay. latte. Here, here. You can, you here, can here. remain on the couch. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll stay. Thank you. Well, first of all, we love your jewels. They're Thank gorgeous. You. And we wanted to start at the beginning because every entrepreneur has a backstory yes. and yours involves your fertility yes. process. Yep. Walk yeah. us through that. Um, so I sort of started my business accidentally, I like to say. Mm -hmm. um, to make a very long story short, um, I was going through fertility treatment after losing my fallopian tubes to endometriosis. Mm -hmm. And it was costing thousands of dollars, multiple rounds, needles, all of that. I wasn't getting pregnant, so I turned to um, holistic healing. And that's when I discovered gemstones mm -hmm. and crystals. And they just have positive healing properties. Okay. And so I made myself a bracelet with fertility stones. And then I got pregnant that round of IVF. And I'm not at all saying that the bracelet is what got me pregnant, <laughs> sure. but I am saying that it's nice to have something to believe in. And, and it's pretty Amen. too. Sure, and I'm sure you look back at that gemstone and it reminds you of a really joyous moment and in life. And a hopeful life. moment yeah. too. And it's inspirational for us to hear, and I'm sure, because this is a very common thing that women yeah. all yes. over the place right. have to deal with Definitely. Right? as well, and endometriosis. So it's a beacon of light, and we thank you for, for doing that and thank for you. sharing with us. Thank but, you. And so you, uh, naturally, I can imagine, you got pregnant, you have your children, you start this business, yes. and it just seems only fitting that you have the charitable aspect to true, to true warrior jewelry. So tell yes. us a little bit about that. Yes, so as soon as I started the business, I said, I know that I need to give back um, to different charities around endometriosis, around infertility, around uh, prematurity. I also gave birth to a three month mm. premature baby. Mm. So I donate proceeds monthly to different charities. Um, usually it's around infertility and endometriosis, but it also depends on the month. So like September, we always donate back to Tunnel to Towers. Mm. Um, Pride Month, we'll donate to the Trevor Project. And mm. yeah, so every month is a different charity. An entrepreneur and a philanthropist. I love, what <laughs> a did, one you have, did you have any experience in the jewelry space or in, are you crafty? None, none. none. I sort of like started making it. Like I said, my son was born very prematurely, so he was in the NICU. Yeah. And I I needed something to a like hobby. keep me from going crazy yeah. and so YouTube taught me everything and then it just kind of took off from there. Do yeah. you remember the first thing you made? Uh, probably a beaded bracelet <laughs> which is so funny because now I'm like working with metals and craziness. <laughs> I yeah. know we saw you with the goggles on. That's, That's right. You, yeah. look like, you look like a scientist in there. <laughs> uh, uh, celebrities apparently yes. wear these, these jewels. That must be great for the brand. How did that happen? Yeah. It still feels unreal. Um, it kind of, I don't even know. Like I say, I say all the time, like I really don't even know. Natasha um, Leone. Yeah, so I uh, was lucky enough to work with um, the costume designer for Poker Face on, um, on a different show. And on Dead to Me, actually. Oh my God, I love yeah, that show. Yeah, which was really Such cool for show. me. Yeah. Yes. So when she was doing Poker Face, she reached out to me and said, Natasha loves your style. Can you make this in this way? And then I customized this ring for her and it wound up on the cover of <laughs> Poker that, Face. I mean, that's the, the billboard. I look at that billboard every single so day for I. a couple of weeks when I went to the Lincoln that's Tunnel. That's right, so do I. It's, it's on surreal, seconds. it's still surreal. So what are some of the, you know, this is a series where we give, so many viewers talk to us about, I want a side hustle, or I want to become an entrepreneur. Yeah. And it looks very shiny and pretty when oh, we post yeah. things on social media. <laughs> and it literally is shiny literally. and pretty. But what are some of the challenges that you have faced? Because it sounds like there's some hard work, some luck. I mean, not everyone gets to work on one show, yes, and let alone two shows. Where some, some, what are some of the challenges, and what did you learn from them? Oh, there is a ton of challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, social media makes everything look so easy. Mm -hmm. People look at me and they're like, oh, overnight you just started making yeah. jewelry. And I'm like, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> no. um, finances are definitely yeah. a challenge. Sure. You don't realize like how much money you need to actually put into a business. Um, so when like it started picking up, I was like, oh goodness, like uh, where am I gonna get money from? So right. that was definitely a challenge. A big challenge for me too, and for other entrepreneurs out there, I'm sure, is uh, finding time to do it. So this isn't my full-time job. I'm a social worker by day. That's my full-time job. Wow. And I have two kids. Oh, well. So another figuring out job. when to do it. <laughs> yeah, another, yeah. So three full-time jobs, really. 
Um, so a lot of other people who are entrepreneurs and have small businesses say the same thing to me. Right. It's like, when do we even have time to do it? Right. I'm like, 2 o'clock in the morning when everyone's sleeping. Is that when you do it? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's those late nights. That's how you get it done. But, yeah, you just kind of have to figure out how to make it work for you and right. how to make time for you and for your business. And, yeah. yeah, and like we said, it's a labor of love. So yeah. if you love something, you'll That's find right. a way yeah. to make it work. Now, we, ha we also like to ask, what, what would you consider... How would you define success, success then as an entrepreneur? Yeah. Success would be to me doing something that makes you happy. Like if you wake up every day and you're like, this is what I want to be doing, this is what I love, then that's success to me. I mean, obviously people need money to pay their bills. <laughs> sure. You know, I do, have, I do have a mortgage and two children. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, but, right. yeah <laughs> just that. Um, but yeah, success to me is, is just waking up and knowing like I'm ready to, to take this day and to do what I want to do. I want to go to work yeah. today. Exactly. I yes, love that. Exactly. Is there a particular crystal or gemstone that you gravitate towards or because I don't yes. know anything about me crystals. neither. I'm, I, I, I see admire a lot of pretty them. Colors. Yeah, I admire them but I, like I often wonder like I'm stressed. There's got to be a crystal out there. Yeah. Is it tourmaline? Is it aquamarine? Look at you. You know uh, more than so I know. So many options. I know. That was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, I would say one of my go-tos is carnelian. I'm wearing it right now. Is that the red one? That's the red, reddish mm -hmm. orange one. Mm -hmm. And it just gives you energy. And it like it's supposed to like uplift your spirits. Okay, give me all of those. Yeah. Uh, I'll take seven. Of them. I have a few on there. You no, can yes, take them. please walk us through a little. I, I love. I see um, turquoise and mm -hmm. I, I'm like, add to cart. Well, because yeah. I like your eyeballs. Where can people <laughs> find your jewelry? Um, I have a website. It's truewarriorjewelry.com. And she's on the gram. And she's and on, I'm the gram. on the gram. I'm on the gram at, at True Warrior Jewelry. Yep. Well, and she brought us gifts, too. She did. I'm I'm sure. Mine is backstage because I was running around like a lunatic. <laughs> which, which gem is this? So that's Moonstone. Should I show Bobby? Moonstone. Moonstone. Yeah, that's actually the crystal that started my whole business. <gasps> yeah. Where it's all started. You oh, think? Just for you. I'm Melissa, put this congratulations. On. Thank you so much. On all of the things. Thank on your you. children, on your other children, your, your business. These babies, they're Thank gorgeous. You. They're Thank gorgeous. you very much. Keep doing the thing. We Thank you, guys. You. Thank Absolutely. you. I'm so grateful to be here. Absolutely. Happy to have you. <laughs> if you are a local entrepreneur,